Today we are bringing you a review of the Rocket Rios TKL Pro. As far as Rocket goes, it's a German company that was founded in 2007. It is best known for their Cone Gaming Mouse series. They have since branched out their offerings into other gaming peripherals, including keyboards, mouse pads, gaming headsets, gaming notebooks, and even, and recently even couch-based accessories. The Rios TKL Pro is Rocket's first tankyless keyboard, aimed at gamers who are looking for a little more room to move their mouse. Having that number pad can add bulk to the width of the keyboard, which is why gamers tend to love these. They also make for easier transportation to LAN parties as well. Therefore it is meant for competitive gamers, let's say for Counter-Strike Global Offensive or Overwatch players who need low sensitivity to get those headshots. And for that you need lots of room to move your mouse, and that is where the tankyless design comes into fruition. Looking a little bit closer at the keyboard, the function keys all have a secondary function such as changing the volume of your system, pulling up the calculator or playing or pausing videos. While these aren't dedicated keys, something is still better than nothing. Another key that macro lovers will appreciate is a live recording button so you can record whatever macro you want to create in real time without having to launch the Rocket software bundle. That key is positioned on the caps lock. It is branded as an Easy Shift Plus, but whatever. You can press this key and utilize any key as a secondary function, so, so in effect it just makes all your keyboard another FM function, so, so 80 plus shortcut keys that you can configure in the software or, as said before, live in the keyboard. Moving onwards, just below the spacebar, you will find three thumpster keys to assign just about every function you can imagine, whether it's for a game, multimedia use or general use. Per default, the T1 button is programmed to put the computer to sleep, so just beware, I lost all my work because of that a few times. In general use, it could be useful for assigning them to perform functions such as forward and back buttons in your web browser if you don't have a mouse that has those buttons. Flipping the keyboard upside down you will immediately notice various channels. The channels won't actually hold the wires in place, because they are a bit too wide for that, but still they are wide enough for the wire to rest in between loosely and if you don't really pick up your keyboard much it will stay in place. Also on the underside are four generously sized anti-slip pads and the traditional prop feet. In using the keyboard on a nice flat surface, these indeed do hold your keyboard in place with no movement found. I have to admit that I am one of those that micro adjusts the keyboard, so I am very used to lifting it up and moving it a millimeter while I am hardcore gaming, so this extreme grip was quite annoying at times, but still, your experience may vary. Another notable feature of the keyboard is its thickness. It is very thick and its angle is much bigger and to be quite honest I, th I really thought that it would be a problem for my hands but I am glad to report that I have not had any troubles with the angle whatsoever. Maybe a part of this is the included wrist rest that is non-removable but still very nice for the hand and really smooths out the angle of the keyboard itself. Overall the Rocket Rios TKL Pro is a beast of a little keyboard. It comes in your choice of 4 flavors of Cherry MX mechanical switches and has perky illumination. Its downside is that it only comes in blue, but I am sure that Rocket is already working on an, on an RGB version. It has to be said that the sheer amount of customization on this board is awesome. All from the LED customization to the ability to remap buttons to perform any function, it truly makes the Rios TKL Pro your own and suited to your needs and wants. I would not like to comment too much on the Cherry MX which is included inside, yes we have to say that props to Rocket for including original German made Cherry switches, but still the typing experience depends on which model you get and while the browns are in my opinion the best for typing then the reds are best for gaming, your preferences might be different and you might prefer these over the other. I am quite sure that potential buyers of the Rocket Rios TKL Pro know what they are getting themselves into, they probably don't need the keyboard and if they do, Rocket still has the Rios MK Pro, but still maybe the aggressive styling should be something they should cut down on because with the added bezel on the sides, the product is not all that more compact than regular mechanical keyboard. Thanks for watching this review on Discharge Networks, don't forget to comment and subscribe to our channel.